I cannot hear out of my left ear. Uh, it started about last Wednesday. Last Wednesday, so five days back? Yeah, about five days back. Okay. Um, I have been congested, mm -hmm. so I kind of thought it was more sinuses or allergies or maybe even a, a spring cold uh, treated with just regular over-the-counter, and that seems to be better, but now all of a sudden I've got the plugged ear. How is it affecting you? Your left ear is plugged. How is it affecting you? Uh, I feel like I'm in a well. Mm -hmm. um, I cannot hear in meetings anyone with a low tone of voice. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm having to struggle to, to hear them. Mm -hmm. um, I just, like when I lay down, there's pressure. Mm -hmm. So is that, there any pain? Not, no, there's not pain. Just the, that just you cannot hear? Yeah, I just can't hear and it's just a pressure. Right. Um, do you have any ringing in your ears? No. So no pain, no ringing? No. Okay. Which is kind of why I let it go so long. <laughs> right. Have you had this before? No, I have not. This is the first time you are having mm -hmm. this? Okay. And do you have any uh, pain in your neck? No. No pain in your neck? Mm -hmm. So, Jamie, let me have a look in your left ear. You say, ah. Ah. So, you don't hurt in your neck. No. I don't see anything local which is causing the issue right now. What I want to do is, I want to uh, see if it is mechanical in origin. Okay. Which is affecting your eustachian tube. So, I want to get a baseline of your neck uh, movement. So, if you will sit upright, can you rotate your neck like this? Do you notice any difference on one side versus the other? Like, yeah, it feels a little tighter over there. I don't know. It is a little bit tighter on the mm -hmm. left side, the neck. Mm -hmm. Where? The back of your neck? Right here. So okay. let's try doing this uh, neck retraction movement like okay. this. Mm -hmm. Any change in your ear? No. <laughs> okay. Can you rotate your neck and see if there is any change? There's no pressure down. No? Okay. It's still it's still plugged. <laughs> sure, sure, that's okay. So it is still plugged as it was before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I got my left ear pop a couple of times. <laughs> if it is popping, I know I'm getting a mechanical response. Yes, like two or three times it popped, just little okay, ones. So we are getting there. So any change in the fullness? Um, it feels a little bit different, but I, I still feel full. You still feel full? Okay. So what I'm going to do is, actually, I'm going to do the same movement, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do it in unloaded position. Okay. When you're lying down. Okay. That way I can get you further. I'll do a few to and fro to get you moving. And then keeping you here. Try to breathe from your nose. Any change in your ear? Mm. Yes, a little bit, I think. What do you notice? Well, that's you just a second. Yeah. It might be open. Well, it's almost, I mean, it feels more open. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are getting a response. So, um, is the ear any different? It feels a little less full. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like the lower part's not as plugged. The upper part's still plugged. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. You want to sit up? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yes. Let's sit. Huh. That's a little better. But I still feel a little plugged. <laughs> you still feel a little plugged? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you walked in and now, how much difference is there? A lot, because I can, I mean, compared to what I was feeling, I felt like I was in a well. Mm -hmm. Now I can actually hear you, you know, talking better. I mean, one more time, and sitting now. Just sit up right, please. And keep your head horizontal. And now let's go back. So percentage wise, how much difference have you noticed in the year? Um, probably about, I would say 50%. I feel like it, if it could pop any time and it would go mm -hmm. back to normal. Yeah. Whereas before I didn't feel yeah. 
like it was going to pop. So Jamie, what we are going to do, you still have that fullness on the left side, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do a different force alternator okay. and we will see if we are going to do the same movement in a different direction. Okay. And let's see if you can impact your left here a little bit more. Okay. So just keep it there sustained for a minute. Okay, Jamie, let's relax. See, is there any change? It feels better. I still feel like there's a little fullness in, I don't know how to describe it, but like in the inner side of my ear. Right. How, how much fullness is left as compared to when you came in? I'd probably just say there's maybe 20% left. 20% left. So 80% mm -hmm. is it better? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So like Any change than before we started? I think it's better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it didn't pop, but it almost did. It felt like it was going to pop. Let me just try last time. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to flex your upper cervical a little bit more. So I'm just playing around with the... So let's go down a little bit. And now retract. All right, how much fullness is left now in your ear? I'd say about 10%. Your homework would be to do the sustained retraction. Okay. Just to, you know, for a minute, two times every one hour. Okay. And try to keep a, you, you have a desk job, you're sitting yes. on the, so posture is important. Yeah. And so, and then call me tomorrow. Okay. And we did a McKinsey intervention with some exercises mm -hmm. at that that day. And as I recall, um, you were you said you were ninety percent better. Yes, the, it wasn't at, completely. It wasn't right. completely mm -hmm. gone, but I said okay, you continue doing your exercises. Right. Can you share with us after I saw you last time? how things progressed for you and what you did? Sure, I did keep doing the exercises, uh -huh. um, you know, retracting my neck and um, uh, laying on the floor with my, my chin in my hands and pushing that way. Um, so you were retracting on lying position mm -hmm. too? Okay. Yep, I did mm -hmm. both. Uh -huh. um, I seem to have more luck with the with the one laying down on the floor with uh -huh. my hand, my chin in my hands. Yeah. Um. It, I I could feel something happening there. I can't explain it. It's really mm -hmm. weird. But mm -hmm. um. Anyway, um. It took about a day, mm -hmm. and my ear was back to normal, and I haven't had any I haven't had any issues since then.